it's me, Opal. Let me preface this video by saying that I had no idea my channel would grow this fast. I appreciate everyone's support, and uh, I hope we've done the JoJo community a great favor. I might not sound like it, but I'm genuinely thankful. Anyway, on with the video. Giorno Giovanna. Strong. Charismatic. Composed. I don't like him. Yeah, call me a Bakio in the comments section all you want, but I really don't like Joro Giovanna. And today, I will go over some reasons why. If you've been a long-time viewer of my channel, you know by now that I hate on Joro to a comical degree. For example, I made him into a silent protagonist in the YouTubers as Jojo character series. And I even refer to him as a stupid, silent, donut-haired twink in the official lore. To be honest, I made Giorno silent mostly as a challenge to see how far into the story I could go before he had to say something. Let's just say... <laughs> I got pretty damn far. <laughs> but there's more to that than just roasting his yee-yee-ass haircut. For starters, I'm just not a fan of his personality. Like, he's the son of Dio, so I was expecting someone a lot more chaotic. I know a lot of people are gonna say, Oh, he's the son of Dio in Jonathan's body, so it makes sense that he's like 90% Jonathan. But that still doesn't excuse how freaking bland he is. Jonathan literally has all of his character traits, but better. Also, his abs are hot. On a side note, I'm not a big fan of most of the character designs in Golden Wind. I mean, I love their outfits, they're, they're drippy as hell, but most of the characters look really gangly, like they haven't eaten in a while. It kind of makes sense for teenagers like Narancha, but if you're the same age as Giaccio and you're able to stick a house between your thighs, you need to see a doctor about that. If his dream was to end the drug trade, then why didn't he just become a politician or something to pass an actual law that prevents kids from getting high? Instead, he literally joined the Mafia. I get that having to sink to extreme lows just to do some good is kind of the whole message of part 5. At least to me it was. But to me, what Giorno was doing would be like becoming a bartender to stop the production of beer. Going back to Giorno being the son of Dio, it would have been really cool if we could see him act more like Dio towards the beginning of part 5. Instead, he's literally just a thinner version of Jonathan with blonde hair. Should have called him Blondathan. I mean, Dio and Giorno both came from abusive families. So, it would make sense that Giorno would become bitter, vindictive, manipulative, sadistic, basically being antisocial, on top of having a superiority complex that borders on being a straight-up god complex. He might not need the same chaotic and mimetic energy as Dio to fit the bill, but with this new Giorno in mind, his first encounter with Bucciarati should be at least somewhat altered. Bucciarati and other members might even play a bigger role in humanizing Giorno, since he finally found a group of people who can not only relate with him, but also keep his darker ambitions in check, or remind him of the potential drawbacks of whatever strategy he's going to come up with. But I want to know what you guys think. How would you change or rewrite Giorno as a character? Is there anything that I left out or didn't elaborate on? Let me know! And if you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe.